Hello everyone, it's Frosty back here today with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix the 0xC70007B error that generally pops up in all Windows applications during installation sometimes of games, of application and a lot more things. So literally this is a binary error and this literally means that you're putting some binary files that are meant to run on some system architect and you're running it on some another one. So I'm going to be uh, telling you what all does that all does mean, okay? So the first thing uh, let me tell you is there are certain prerequisites to this video and that's what you gotta follow. Download the three things that I'm telling you and after that if that still doesn't solve the error make sure that you follow along. So the first three things that I want you to download is and also make sure that you like subscribe and share this video because it's gonna help me a lot. Okay so the first thing that you want to do is download the three things that are DirectX Runtime, the .NET Framework and Visual Studio or Visual C++ redistributable, not Visual Studio. So these two you can easily download. Just go on to the link given below in the description and simply click on download and you're going to be able to download it. Just install that and that's all. The next thing would be to download the .NET Framework and uh, let me download it for you. Okay, so here we are. It's gonna extract files like this, and once done, you can simply click on next. Just simply the normal install installation visit. All right, and Microsoft.NET is gonna provide you like in mine it says that already installed. So if in your it also says the same. Good, just follow along. The next thing would be to download this. So literally, what this is, and let me show you how you can download these. So there are you might be seeing there are a lot of versions here. So I do think in your computer you already be having this service pack 1.2008 installed in these ones so I literally recommend you downloading these one by one maybe a few ones just clicking here depending on your system architect if you're 64-bit version make sure that you click this one and install both and literally you need to download both and install both those are really really small They're, they aren't very big so in case you're thinking so once you have done that make sure that you run your application and check it out again and if you're done and still doesn't work follow along okay so let me tell you why am I here on the DLL sites. So if you're getting this error, I probably think that you must have, um, if you're still getting this error, so I probably think that you must have downloaded some DLL file, placed it inside your system32 folder or system waw 64 folder and you're still getting this particular error. And you might be thinking, well, uh, I'm particularly taking, for example, the isdone.dll file. You can go on with an arc.dll or any sort of dll that you have missed upon. So it really depends. So okay, so you have probably downloaded it and placed it inside your folder, and it doesn't seem to work. So let me tell you how to place these files properly, and then come along. Let me close these. Two. Okay, so I closed all the tabs, and I literally went on to pick up a phone, and here we are. So let me explain you in a notepad, not much of the offense, you know. So say for example you downloaded isdone.dll and you went on and placed that file inside system32 and make sure that you have restarted your PC and or it won't work. So literally you did that and you're gonna be thinking like it still doesn't work because you just did it all wrong you didn't you need not or, or literally you didn't have to or I should say you didn't have to install uh, go and put that file there because it belonged to this folder and why so this is a problem in the Windows system architect it's not a problem I don't know why they did, did this but actually the 32-bit files the 32-bit binary files those are the DLL files actually need to go actually need to go inside the 64 one and that's 64 and the 64 bit files need to go inside this one didn't get that let me tell you say you downloaded this file and here it says 32 bit now there might be people for whom this particular thing let me change so that you can get it in a bit more uh, logical sense might say this so what you gotta do is download these both so it's 32 do not think that it's 64 it's actually 32 
So for for some people it might also be showing 64. So you need to download both of them. Since in mine it shows only and only 32, so I'm only gonna be downloading one file that is of better version. So here you can see. 0.6.00 is a latest version or better version than this one also it's a bit small so I'm gonna go for that so I can click on download and I do think that's what you have done so if you just downloaded and went on then I think that you must have gone through the problem because if you read it properly here you're gonna see it it's actually written and shown to you how you can do that okay so let me save the file actually so here we have it and so here we are in the main folder so need now this readme file and what you got to do is to copy this file you can just right click and copy it remember this file is 32 bit so we got to go in in the windows and now here since it is 32 we are not gonna place it inside this folder it does not belong to system 32 as i told you it belongs here just open it and you gotta paste it here i already have it so i won't be replacing because i don't want to mess up all the things so once that done just come out back now if you had the 64-bit version make sure that you come inside system 32 and paste it here because that's where it belongs so let me cancel that because I don't want it here so you can literally search it out these are available here like this so make sure that the files are particularly and very uh, correctly in positions because that's where they belong once you have done that you can just go on restart your PC and I promise this error will be solved so if you have any other problem you can make sure that you comment them down below because I will be commenting and replying you for all that and still doesn't work just tell me out and I'll maybe solve up something for you so I hope you enjoyed that make sure that you like subscribe and share thank you for watching